Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura of Laura Plans It, and today I am planning for the last week of September, September 23rd through the 29th, 2019. This week I will be using some more of the Happy Planner stickers, very similar to what I did last week. And I will be using a black pen, my Erin Condren 6 inch ruler, which I love, love, love this ruler so much and just a plain old pair of scissors. And I'm gonna try to keep it really minimal. I'm gonna focus on white space planning here. And I'm just gonna kind of try to do a very similar thing to last week. I'm gonna change up a couple little things, but I really loved this bold, and let me flip back to this, this bold impact that last week had with just a few big flower stickers, but otherwise it was just outlines for my appointments, black pen to write in what they were, and that was it. So again, I'd like to try to stick very similar to this and see where it takes me. Now you can watch the video for last week's plan with me by clicking the link at the top here. Um, and then of course, I would like for you to let me know what type of spread do you prefer? Do you prefer pen and uh, paper like this or do you prefer more of using kits like the planner kit kits? So let me know below which kind of kit you prefer or what kind of setup you like to use. I'm really curious how most people use their planners because I am still working to find planner piece by digging in and trying new things. Every week I try something different and something new just to see what I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. When I'm finished, I'll come back and explain everything that I've done.
right, so I am all set up for the week. As you can see, it is pretty busy, like appointment wise, but I don't think the actual planner is very busy at all. I think there's still tons of white space and still tons of options to add more appointments as they come up throughout the week. The first thing that I did was I put in our appointments. Now I've tried a couple new things doing this as well. Um, first things first is I put the appointments in first instead of putting the stickers in first, which last week I did it opposite and I did end up having to move a couple of the stickers, which I have found um, the product undo, which I will link in the description below. That stuff works. Just be really careful. You do need to give it some dry time. But I had to move some stickers around last week and I really, I hate doing that. I kind of want to just leave them once they're in here, especially the decorative ones. Um, and especially since they're cut, it kind of limits where you can move them. So this week I did the appointments first. I tried two new things adding the appointments in as well. I've got the times when I have overlapping appointments, I've divided the day in half. And I've also divided the hour blocks in half. So the new planners for 2019-2020 do not have the half hour blocks like they did in the 2018-2019 design, which most weeks it doesn't bother me. Some weeks I really miss it, especially um, when I have appointments that kind of overlap and one goes longer than the other, such as our baseball practices. I really prefer to have that extra half hour mark, but it's not the end of the world and I decided to try this. I'm not super thrilled with what I've done because you can see, especially over here in the homeschool planner meetup, it's not a straight line and that bothers me a lot. Um, I like my lines to be super straight. It's just, it's just my preference. But other than that, those are the two new things I tried. I put those in first. Then I came in and I added all my stickers and I did this beautiful like fall leaf and I only had one sheet of those stickers in my pile of stickers. I don't know what book it came from, but I had one sheet of fall leaf with gold foil stickers from Happy Planner. I found this large quote that says live simply, which I thought just really fit for the weekend. I really want to keep it really just, I want to stay home. I want to relax. I just want to have a chill weekend. So once baseball is done, I just want to hang out. And then I put another two quote stickers over here. Start each day with a grateful heart. Mondays are rough for us. It's our first day back after the weekend. We're homeschooling. We've got preschool. We've got errands to run and scouts to go to. And a lot of times by the end of Monday, we're all just cranky. And so I wanted to put this in here as a reminder to say, hey, you know what? Take a couple deep breaths. It's just another day. Um, same with this, be an encourager. I want to make sure I am encouraging my children and empowering my children, not getting frustrated and mad and, and even inadvertently putting them down or something like that. So I put those stickers in there to kind of help me out. And that is pretty much it. Now, um, one thing I really didn't show very clearly, I don't think, when I was doing this is how I do these stickers here. And what I do is, um, let me grab the sticker sheet here. So this is the sticker sheet that I had. I don't know which book it came from, but if I find it, I'll link in the description below. But what I do is I'll take the sticker off the sheet. I'll kind of figure out where I want it to go. So let's say I want to put this one right here. I would kind of generally line it up, cut straight through the middle of it here. And then I would take, oh, there's a piece of sticker there. I would take this piece that I've now cut and just stick it, line it right up with the lines. And that kind of makes it look like it's sticking out. And then the really cool thing about that is now I can come over here, I've got another piece, and I can easily stick this one over here or down here somewhere just to kind of add in. I don't really see anywhere I want to put it right now, but I could. Um, I do actually try to use these in my petite daily and in my, um, my bullet journal, which I'm using for a weekly, uh, memory keeper right now so and I'll do a video on that soon too so that is how I kind of decorated my planner overall I really like this idea I love the simplicity of adding just a couple leaves or flowers or stickers here or there I do think I kind of want a little sticker happy this week and put more than I generally would enjoy having but I I just really wanted to try some new things and I, I think it really worked out very well um, I also underlined the week that we're currently in. I had been highlighting it and I just thought underlining might kind of tie it in with a theme. And then I've stopped using this bar here for habit trackers. I've left it open and at the end of the week, I hope to just kind of record a favorite memory. So you can see I did the same thing last week. Um, well, in last week's spread, this is currently this week. So I haven't written my memory down here yet, but I will most likely be doing the same thing this week. So I've left it open so I can do that. If I decide to change it, you can actually, um, if you head on over to my Instagram, at Laura Plans It, you'll see if I change that um, because I do post pictures of my spreads after the week is over. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'll post either Wednesday night or Thursday morning. So if anything changes from now till then, you can see it. 
And then same thing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I usually post them Monday afternoons so you can see if I've added anything here or if I've taken anything away. But other than that, this is my spread for the week. If you like this video, please hit like. And if you would like to see more Plan With Me videos, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you tap that bell, that'll turn on notifications so you are always alerted when a new video comes up. And of course, for behind the scenes sneak peeks and what my planner looks like right now, head on over to my Instagram, at Laura Plans It. Thanks so much for watching.